My name is Rhapsody and it's time for a Watcher speedrun draft. Effectively, the idea here is that I'll play the Watcher on Ascension 1. Ascension 1 so that we still have the extra elites to make it a little bit more spicy. And pop on draft. Draft gives me 15, I think it is, early choices of cards which become my base deck. And then we run. The goal effectively is just to try and win the game as quickly as possible. Because I know there are Watcher speedrun builds and largely they are based around... Oof, none of these good. Uh, largely, they seem to be based around getting, uh, flying sleeves at least. Crescendo, okay, so there's some forest, uh, I'll take hold because I am going to need that because I'm going to be in the mode constantly. Follow up for extra damage. Tantrum, there we go. They're built around Tantrum often. Uh, let's get a Consecrate. Let's get a Rush Down. Bowling Bash. Uh, Sense of Time. Oof. Don't like that. Empty Mind, at least. Wreath of Flame. Okay, so they usually Wreath of Flame and Tantrum decks through and through. So I'm going to effectively try and make this into that. Okay. Got him. Bowling Bash, Pressure Points, Mess. No, don't need any of those. Removing a card from the deck. Uh, another Rushdown? No, another Wreath of Flame. Definitely, though. We need the Wreaths of Flame upgrade as well. Okay. Tantrum and Wreath. Bowling Bash to kill the backliner and then just lucky to kill the front. None of those. I can't, maybe Empty Fist is good for me because it gives me the ability to re-trigger the Rushdown. Is Rushdown going to be like a consistent part of my strategy though? And a that's fine. We killed the backline with that already. Or not. Or we'll just be one short on it instead. No. Come on, Rings of Flame. We're also looking basically just to remove every other card. See if we actually have the ability to do that. Take all the money. Take, sorry, take all the potions there. Seems super useful. All right. um, let's go fasting. Tantrum, you in the midline. Wreath of Flame and then Consecrate for 30 across the board. Perfect. Bottled Lightning, put a Wreath of Flame in the opening hand. Lovely. Simmering, no. Halt again. Yeah, we still want Holtz in this deck, so I'm going like a really aggressive Roth Holt deck. Sounds good to me, DBH. Sounds really good to me. Just gonna spend this time building up more Wreath of Flames. Crescendo. Alt, and then throw that, throw Just Lucky, throw another Just Lucky, and then throw a Consecrate for the kill. Good fight. Mango, raise 14 max HP, love it. Talk to the hand. Uh, with the Tantrum, yeah, we're going to be hitting enemies multiple times, sure, so let's take that. Another Wreath of Flame upgrade, then the two Tantrum upgrade, the Consecrate upgrade. Maybe talk to the hand as well. Depends how early we can get it consistently, at least. Um. Mm. I just wanted to think if I had the ability to actually kill that turn. Nope. Signature move, cut through fate, evaluate. No need for those. Best I can do? Yeah, best I can do that turn. Smoke bomb. There are a lot of fights. Ooh, Fear No Evil? 
I do have two tantrums in the deck. Do I? No, I have one tantrum in the deck. Uh, the extra energy from the Fiano Evil transfer is going to be really good. Uh, I'm going to drop the Dex Potion there and get a Smoke Bomb for skipping through a fight that it just doesn't look like I have the ability to win. Ooh, remove a card. Lovely. Fasting is a little bit of a problem at the moment. It really depends what happens after the next boss as to whether it's a problem overall. Sands of Time is just not going to be good for us. If we are killing quickly enough, then Sands of Time isn't going to be good. And if we're not killing quickly enough, then we die. <laughs> kind of the plan of this deck. Right. I'm going to upgrade all these cards so I can play all of them. Really get to do anything here though. Let's go halt, halt. Just lucky he finds a consecrate. I'll follow up. Sure, let's empty mind our way through to some more cards. Another tantrum in there, you'll love to see it. Go Fasting, Miracle, Talk to the Hand, Flying Sleeves. And we're hoping for just Tantrums and stuff this turn. There we are. Hello, Tantrums and stuff this turn. I can even Crescendo before the Tantrum. Yeah, let's do that. It's a lot of extra damage. Try Halt, Wreath of Flame, and then Tantrum. Good. Ragnarok? I mean, we do have... Yeah, I mean, if any deck is going to be able to run Ragnarok, it'll be this one. I shouldn't really need to care about my enemies and tents because of Rune Dome, but also, like, maybe it's Holy Water? Yeah, it's probably Holy Water, actually. We don't need energy for, like, every turn. We just need energies for the first three turns, because that's uh, when we either win or die. Okay, let's start with Rush Down. It's kind of Consecrate. It's fine, I guess. Double Miracle to get a Fasting out? Sure. If nothing else, I do get to hold the Flying Sleeves, so it's good for that. So what, 8 by 5 is 40. It's enough. A potion as well as another Rush Down. Maybe a bit too expensive for us. Uh, yeah, because we don't enter and exit it as commonly as I would actually like for Rush Down to be effective. I thought it would be. But the fights are too short for it. Okay. Let's flame that. So we got a crescendo in the next hand at least. Uh, hang on. Fasting, Wreath of Flame, Miracle, Crescendo, Miracle, Tantrum. Big damage. Worship? Empty Body Tranquility? Probably none of those, but still. Right, I'm going to try and go for way too many elites. I can jump out of one of them with the smoke boss at the absolute least. Smoke bomb at the absolute least, rather. Fasting? No. That could be good for us. This fight is awful. Judgment? Maybe I can judge one of you this turn. One of you? <laughs> one of the only one that, of you that exists? The boss? Directly in front of it? Yeah, no. This fight was always going to be annoying. Enemy constantly getting extra arm every time I do anything there. Let's just jump out of that. Dupe card in the deck. Uh, another tantrum actually seems really good.
I probably shouldn't go for as many elites as I was planning to. Just seems like a bad idea at this point, TBH. Um, these just luckies are taking up space where I need to be drawing other cards right now. Tantrum you. I'm going to Wreath of Flame. Bowling Bash the back line for 90. And then what? Talk to the hand. Follow up for a kill. Protects for 12. Fine. <laughs> take 24 damage here, but also take the kill. Wing boots, ignore the next room. Ooh, if you're in wrath, if you're in wrath, apply vulnerable to all enemies. Uh, three vulnerable to all enemies. Otherwise, enter wrath. Love it. Let's upgrade the Ragnarok as well. Jump across to an elite. Especially a singular elite is a lot better for us. Anything else I can really do this turn? Eh, just a bowling bash. Not that good. Let's go rush down, empty mines. Fiend Weevil, Halt, just lucky. Oh, there's the tantrum. One hand too late, or one card too late, rather. So it's tantrum and then Wreath of Flame on the other tantrum. We kill. Mercury Hourglass, as well as a bunch of stuff I don't want there. Blue Candle, Unplayable Curse Cards can now be played. Let's explosive potion, tantrum the front line. One of the front lines there, rather. Then Wreath of Flame, Miracle, and Ragnarok. Horncleat at the side of your second turn, gain 14 block, as well as Wheel Kick. Fien another Fiona Weevil is really good for this deck right now. I want to go to that shop. I'm going to jump across again. Lee's Waffle, upon pickup, raise your max HP by, uh, sorry, raise your max HP by seven and heal all HP as well. Love it. I wasn't planning to go immediately to another shop afterwards. Next game. Ooh, Duvidol, for each curse in the deck, start each combat with an additional strength. That would be pretty good for us overall. Could be, at least. Alright. Have to take the 12 here. Not really that much I get to do about it. Um, let's go Indignation. Ragnarok. Carve Reality. I mean, Carve Reality is two hits for two energy, but they're also very high damage hits. You might need them. Crescendo being zero cost is very crucial right now, especially considering how little energy we have access to in the later turns. I'm going to upgrade my whole hand, getting all these upgraded miracles. Ideally, next turn I get Ragnarok or something like that and helps me kill the backliners. This isn't that. So 44 damage for each enemy in combat is still 150 damage to the midliner right now, which is a lot. I think we actually still will go all out in terms of damage right now. Yeah, so I'm just aiming at the midline. Took one of my tantrums, but that's okay. I have another. Nice. Okay, that, that boss was like a real gate for whether or not we were going to be able to do this. Uh, Vault. Uh, yeah, especially if I get energy after this, and it looks like I will. I have to take Sosu. It'll give me the ability to set up on one turn and then execute on the other. Uh, 
Tantrum, Halt, Wreath, Wreath. 42 in AoE. Almost enough, but not quite. Um, yeah, I'll take another Halt still. Secret Weapon Finesse. Well, Secret Weapon is just get to my... Ooh, Trip is huge here as well. Take Trip, take Secret Weapon, won't take the last one. Yeah, it's just get to my first copy of Tantrum, basically. Uh, get a card out of this deck as well as get 10 max HP or get a card out of this deck in general. I could get a Fasting out of here, but I kind of want the Empty Mind out. Gets us the heal back up to full. Talk to the hands, follow up, Wreath of Flame, and then Ragnarok. Decent healing as well as death for our enemy. Another pre-upgraded halt. Yeah, I'm kind of fine right now. I'm going to hop across to get to a question mark. It's actually a really good one as well. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. Let's remove a... Honestly, I think Fasting's had its day. And it upgrades a halt for us, neat. Go trip on all enemies and then vault on all enemies after the next upgrade. Two spaces time. Saving the Wreath of Flame for a later attack. Eh. Guess I could do that turn, unfortunately. Rush down. Wreath of Flame, a giant tantrum, and then Fear No Evil to get out of it. So that I don't take all the extra damage. We still have both tantrums in the deck, at least. There we are. Check another Tanty. Follow up, Miracle, Miracle, Miracle. Yeah, we'll have to kill this turn easily. If from nothing else, Ragnarok. Tori. Ooh, as well as another rushdown. I'll take that now, as well as I, uh, because I have the two Feel No Pains. Feel No Evils, rather. Feel No Evils, rather. Whoops. The Boot. Ooh, the Boot and Tori. Whenever you would receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one, as well as the Boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Hmm. I'm gonna Tanty for the draw. Wreath of Flame, chuck another Tanty. Alright, go. Singing Bowl, when adding cards to your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. Another Wreath of Flame. I think it should be, actually. I think it's like one of the most important cards in the entire deck. Some damage right there. I'll try to Fiend Evil for just some extra damage this turn as well. Yeah, just in case the enemy was doing something big this turn. Seems important. All right. Make you vulnerable. Draw a... I guess Tantrum out of the deck. Yeah, that makes sense, but it's okay. If the enemy is not attacking that turn, no need to really worry. Another power potion. Those would be really good in the final fight if we could have them. Conclude. I don't want to be ending my turns on that conclude commonly. I feel like that's going to come at a couple of unopportune times for us. Enter Roth. Rush down. That. And I'm going to vault. Give myself a better turn to hit later. Yeah, there we go. Wreath of Flame and then Ragnarok. Beautiful. Golden Eye. Whenever you scry, scry two additional cards as well as... I'll take another halt there. I know I said I was going to stop, but... They're so useful. Let's 
It's Wreath of Flame, just setting up for a later turn. We might actually need it. And in fact, it looks like that turn has come. Okay. To the hand, Wreath of Flame, and then Tantrum. I don't need to save myself an extra turn here with the Vault. In fact, it's actively bad if I do. Hey, there's Ragnarok. That's what I've been looking for. I'm going to rush down Fear No Evil, then Tantrum to get back into it. Whilst drawing four cards. Maybe I should have played the Tantrum there, just have it back in the deck. Could have been a good idea. But whatever it was, it doesn't seem like it was an essential idea. Another power potion, that would be so good. Sure, I'll take another Ragnarok and maybe even upgrade it before the final fight. Alright, let's see how I can actually go against bosses here. That's very early to start doing the stuff. It's very early. Alright. Uh, let's... Tantrum, Sash Whip, Indignation for Wrath against both of them, and then Vault. Those Holts are actually even going to be able to keep me safe this time. Beautiful. Secret Weapon. What am I even going to pull here? Fiend Evil, maybe? Yeah, I think I'll take a Fiend Evil. I can get back out of the... Uh, out of column here if I need to, suddenly. Let's go for both of those. Uh, let's throw out a... Talk to the hand on the front line here, then Wreath of Flame and Ragnarok. This is 12 by 6. 12 by 6 is... 12 by 5 is 72 total. That's fine. I get a lot of block out of it as well. Let me just kill next turn. Yeah, as it turns out, this deck works. 22 minutes, so it's still not a sub-20 minute run. But Tantrums and Wreath of Flame work incredibly, incredibly well together. For the moment, my name is Rune Rhapsody, the name of the game. Has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.